Everything says at home Thanksgiving lifestyle without a recipe from a family favorite. That's right, the resident foodie, Michael Gelman, and his long suffering wife, Lori, are going to take us <laughs> inside their kitchen, which Garmin carved, uh, Gelman carved teak by hand himself. <laughs> Isn't that true, Gelman? Oh, yeah. Yes. All right, let's take a look. Day. We love going out east into kind of the more rural area in the autumn and cooking some of the local food from the farm stand. So let's see what's fresh right now and uh, we'll see what we're going to make. I'm thinking squash. These are acorn squash. They're my personal favorite because they're the easiest to cook. These are great and so good for you. All right. What do we got here? Oh, these are great. I don't know why I'm smelling it. This is smell like anything. <laughs> here, let's get try some of these. Can you really? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll try. These actually are supposed to be good. These carnival squash. Kabocha. You're all set. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thanks. All right. So we've got our squash from the farmer's market. Now we're going to do it four different ways. It's really simple. This is so easy. Uh, simple and easy. Then I like to use the scooper for ice cream. Works well to get the seeds out. Also known as the ice cream scoop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we're ready. All right, so what are you gonna make first? All right, I'm gonna make the easiest one. So I'm gonna put a couple of pats of butter in here and just some salt and pepper. You can also use uh, olive oil if you want. Basically, that's it. I'm gonna start off with the one I'm gonna do in the pizza oven. So I'm gonna take this guy over here and I'm gonna do uh, some olive oil, a little bit of brown sugar, some paprika, and then, now this is like a spicy, smoky honey and a little chili powder. This is ancho chili powder. Not very spicy, kind of a rich, earthy flavor. Okay. So next what I'm gonna do is uh, coconut milk and pumpkin spice. So just get a little coconut milk, roll it around in there. Pumpkin spice, we'll sprinkle some of that on top. And then a little bit of maple syrup, just to give it a little sweetness. And then I'm gonna swish it around with this. So now I'm gonna do a little more olive oil. This time I'm also gonna go with a little bit of maple oh, syrup. What? Yes. The recipe calls for pecans. You know, I saw some of these walnuts. I think I'm gonna use those instead. So you put it in on 400. I would keep testing it with a fork because you don't want to overdo them. All right, these I'm gonna put in the pizza oven. All right, so let's see how we're doing here. These have been cooking for a while. We're gonna test them to make sure they're okay. Ooh, they're good. They're looking very nice. Yeah. Spoon that kind of sweet, salty, yeah. taking oily mixture all over these nuts. Stick some of the goat cheese in to start. Throw the nuts over all that. Balsamic vinegar, this is a glaze, which really is just code for... Sweet. Sweet, exactly. <laughs> this is a little tough still, so we're just gonna give them a couple more a couple minutes. minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah, now that's nice. Oh my goodness, that looks good. These are great with thyme and sage. I just cut these from the garden. Not bad, my love. Looking good. Yeah, you wanna try them? Mm. Oh, that's really good. That had the maple syrup and the uh, pumpkin spice. No, it is very Thanksgiving. Yeah, and here's the, the basic. Traditional mm. acorn squash. Mm -hmm. We usually just want to make salt, pepper, butter. Nothing what else. could be bad? We're we'll trying my pizza oven one. This should be a little sweet and spicy. And smoky, wow. And spicy. <laughs> Goat cheese and walnuts. Yeah, this looks really good. Mm. You guys have to try this here. Oh, good. Mm. <laughs> Well, mission, mission accomplished. <laughs> okay. Good job, Lori Gelman. Thank you very much. Back at you. All right. All right. <laughs> Gelman, every time I see you do a cooking segment, it's like a window into your soul. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was shocked, yes. shocked, I tell you, as was Deja, yeah. that these are not uh, squashes from your garden. <gasps> You know, my squash crop was not good this year. Mm. But these uh, these were from the local, uh, you know, Green Thumb mm -hmm. Organic Farm, which is unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, what well, types of squash are they? Well, there's the acorn squash, mm -hmm. which is the regular one. Then there's the carnival. 
Uh, then there's the red curry, mm -hmm. which I'd never cooked with any of these other than the acorn, but okay. I tried them out, and they're great. And the uh, kabocha. Which one should I try first? Well, I love the goat cheese with the uh, walnuts. And these are I, they're walnuts all very harvested good. from your interior pocket. Yeah, they, they grew in my pocket, <laughs> and then I like sprinkle them. There may be some goji I'm gonna, left in there. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this one if you don't mind. No, go right ahead. Oh, the coconut one is great too. I want to try the, um, the pepper one to see if it was hot, as Lori said. Also, okay. a, a lot of people kick. don't realize that typically when the Gelmans cook, now that they are empty nesters, it's usually done in the nude. <laughs> We put our clothes on for the tape, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Um, Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. mm. Very easy. Very good. For Michael's squash recipes, that's uh, Gelman a la squash four ways. <laughs> 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 Kelly, go to our website, <laughs> kellyandryan.com. We'll be right back. <laughs>